This is table 4-4, the wrist and the hand. So we're going to start with our carpal bones, and that's all of these little bones right here. And there's a lot of them, so it's important to know what you're looking at and making sure that you know what they are on both sides of the hand. Um, so we're going to start with our proximal row. And proximal is this row right here. This first bone, this is our scaphoid bone. And then we have our lunate, triquetrum, and pisiform. Pisiform is a lot easier to see when you are on the anterior side. It's a lot harder to see on the posterior side of the wrist. And then we have our distal row. So that's this one right here. This one right here, this is our trapezium and then trapezoid, our capitate, and our hamate. So on the other side, we've got our trapezium, our trapezoid, our capitate, hamate, and then you'll see your pisiform right there. So how I like to remember this, I go in a circle, um, just taking the first letter of each one. I, the mnemonic that I use and think is the easiest is so long to pinky, here comes the thumb. This one helps because you have a lot of T words in here. So when you have trapezium, it sounds like thumb, so then you know where that one goes and then triquetrum and pisiform. Those can go together because you are pissed that you're trying to quit rum. Triquetrum. And then process of elimination, you have trapezoid left. So those are some... Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Um, when you're looking on the palm side, you can really see some things here. Like the hamate has a little hook on it so there's the hook of the hamate. It's like a little pigtail is how I remember, like ham, pigtail. Capitate is always under the middle finger. And in some countries, if you flip someone off, you can be decapitated. So that's how I always remember that one. And on the palm side, trapezoid is really trapped in there. Look, he's like, let me out. I don't have any room. But trapezium does, like Suzette said, always rhyme with thumb. So you can always remember this trap one is always under the thumb. Trapezium, thumb, trapezium, thumb. So after you've got those down, then we have our metacarpal bones. That's these bones right here, not the fingers. The metacarpals, they are named one through five, one being your pollux. So one, and then you're just going to keep going. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we have our phalanges, which that's a pretty common term. So when we're talking about the finger all together, all three of these bones, that would be a phalange. But when we're talking about just one of these bones, that's called a phalanx. So this is when our directional terms will come in handy, um, why we needed to learn them so well the first couple weeks. These closest ones to our metacarpals, those are proximal phalanx. Then we have the middle phalanx. On your pollux, you don't have a middle phalanx. You only have a proximal and a distal. And then on the rest of them, you've got your distal phalanx. So if you're going to be parenting these, if we're pointing, say, to this one right here, this would be our middle phalanx of the second metacarpal. Um, another example, if we had this one, this would be our proximal phalanx of our fifth metacarpal. So we're parenting our phalanx bones to our metacarpal bones.